In this illustration, we intend to calculate the stress in trusts using the Abacus software and analytical solution. And following that, compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of analytical solution. In this picture, you observe the trusts having been simulated in the Abacus software. The purpose of this analysis is to calculate the stress in member BE. Actually, this problem has been selected from Mechanics of Materials book. Here, you observe this problem. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the whole truss. I'll select the modeling space as 3D. From here, select deformable, then wire and planner. Enter approximate size equal to 2000 and continue. The size of member AC is equal to 9 feet. So, the length of member AC is equal to 108 inches. The size of members CE, EG, and GH are equal to 9 feet. The size of member F G is equal to 12 feet. That is equal to 144 inches. Then I click on Done. I will enter Property Module, click on Create Material. We suppose that the truss is made up still in this problem. I will click on Mechanical Menu, then on Elasticity and Elastic. I will enter the Young Modulus of the truss equal to 10.6 uh, multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. PSI. The Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3 and OK. I will click on create section. Here I select beam and then truss and continue. The cross section of truss members is uh, 5.87 square inches. I will click on Assign section. Select the whole of truss, done, and OK. In the next step, I will enter Assembly module, click on Create Instance, and OK. I will enter Step module, click on Create Step. Here, select Static General and continue. Since this problem is linear by nature, I will select off option. 
Here, time period is considered equal to one second, but you should note this point that period of time will have no effect on the results in this problem. So each time you consider would be absolutely right. Okay. In the next step, I'll enter load module. Click on Create Boundary Condition. Select Initial Step. Then Displacement, Rotation, and Continue. Then I will select this point and Done. As you observe in this picture, there is a pin support at point A. So I will close all boundary conditions of displacement except UR. In this manner, rotation about a z-axis would be free. I click on Create Boundary Condition again, select Displacement Rotation and Continue. I select this point, Done. As it can be observed in this picture, a rolling support has been used at point H. So moving directed at X axis is free, but moving directed at Y axis would not be allowed. I will close all boundary conditions of displacement except U1 and UR3. And in this way, rotation about Z axis would be free and moving directed at x-axis would be allowed as well. I will click on Create Load, select Step 1, then Concentrated Force and continue. I will select these points. Done. As you observe in the picture, a 80,000 pound force is applied to each point C, E, and G. So, I will enter the amount of force equal to negative 80,000 pounds and OK. In the next step, I'll enter Mesh module. Click on Seed Edge. Select the whole of truss. Done. Here, I will put method on by number. Here, you should consider only one element for each member of the truss. So here, I'll enter the number of elements equal to 1 and OK. Then I will click on Mesh Part and Yes. Here, I will click on Assign Element Type, select the whole of the truss, Done. Put the element family on truss and OK. Here, I will save the model. I will enter job module, then click on create job. And then click on submit. The analysis was done successfully, so I click on Result. Here you observe the deformation of truss. The purpose of simulating this problem is to calculate the stress in member BE. Here, the problem has been solved using the analytical solution. We first should calculate the reaction forces at point A and H. To calculate the reaction forces at point A, I will only need uh, to write the moment about point A. 
Once you have it done, uh, we will be able to calculate the reaction force at point A. And reaction force at point A is equal to uh, 120,000 pounds. In the next step, we should calculate the force in member BE. To do so, I will only need to write the equilibrium of force directed at y-axis, and doing so, uh, we can calculate FBE force. FBE is actually the force having been applied to member BE. FBE is equal to 50,000 pounds. In the last step, we can calculate the stress based on this formula, and to calculate the stress, we will only need to divide the force by truss cross-section. FBE is equal to 50,000 pounds, and the cross-section of member BE is equal to 5.87 square inches. Finally, the stress in member BE is obtained, which is equal to 8,517 PSI. Now, we intend to calculate the stress at member BE using the Abacus software. I'll click on Create XY Data, select ODB, Field Output, and Continue. Here, I'll select Element Nodal. Then here, we'll select S11, or the same, Axial Stress. Then Member BE, and click on Save. Here, the stress in Member BE using the Abacus software has been obtained. As you observe here, the stress in member BE having been obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 8,517 PSI. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are precisely concordant with those of the analytical solution, indicating that the Abacus software has been able to calculate the stress in trust members properly.